All right, guys, Nathan Sprague here with Debt Freedom University. We are back in the personal budget template file. And at this point, I'm going to assume that, uh, you know, either you're watching this following along or you've been uh, pausing and uh, kind of implementing as you go. So um, assuming you've got your data gathered, um, we're going to move forward here. So at this point, we've got you know, our income broken down and itemized here on the left. We've got all of our expenses broken down and itemized here on the right. And, you know, from here, we're really concerned at, at looking at this data. Most importantly, in the light blue box here, the monthly free cash flow. So um, in order to make this process work, you have to be making more money than you spend on a monthly basis. You have to have positive free cash flow on a monthly basis. Um, if you are on average spending more money than you make, then you are going to have to make some changes uh, to make this process work. And there's several things we can do to do that. Um, in this case, uh, for, for my example here, the data I've plugged in, and again, you need to plug in your data that's applicable to you. So make sure that these categories and these values are specific to you. Uh, but in this case, uh, the John Sample family has $325 per month of extra free cash flow. So that's money that uh, that they're not spending. That's you know income that is in excess of their total monthly expenses. So they have $325 um, worth of monthly free cash flow. Now, if your situation is different, so such that you know that month that number is negative. So I'm just going to change a number here uh, just to show us an example. Let's say. I'll pick credit cards here. Let's say instead of $700 per month, let's say they owe $1,200 per month on credit cards. Okay, as we go up here, you can see the monthly free cash flow value changed to negative 175. So they are now in a situation where they are on average on a monthly basis spending more money than they make. Uh, that's not going to work. So if that's you, there's a couple things uh, we can look at. And one of the things uh, I'll talk about in a later video, but it's something I refer to as inefficient dollars. Uh, so I won't address that here. We'll talk about that in uh, uh, one of the future videos here. Uh, but there is something we can do to look to capture what I call inefficient dollars and redirect them uh, towards this strategy and essentially change this number. Um, but outside of that, you know, there's really two things you can do. Um, you can cut expenses which you know, part of this program is really designed to accomplish uh, these results and pay down your debts quickly and efficiently without having to sacrifice lifestyle. So we don't really want to cut expenses if we don't have to, uh, but that is certainly one thing you can do to change that number. The other thing, which I prefer, is on the income side of the equation, uh, is increasing your income. Uh, so that could mean um, picking up a second job. It could mean uh, you know, we've obviously got uh, the gig economy nowadays. You can, you can, you know, freelance work through websites like Fiverr and Upwork or, um, you know, drive a car for Uber or things like that. Uh, you could start a, a side business uh, with, a, with a side hustle, making some extra income, whatever the case might be. Uh, but increasing income is another way to do that. And that's the way I would prefer to do it so that I don't have to make changes to my lifestyle and sacrifice uh, expenses. Uh, and then, you know, if you do both of those things together, simultaneously cutting some expenses and increasing your income, then you're obviously going to see even better results. So, um, again, that number is important. And ultimately, we need to have a positive number there. Um, we can put this process into place with, with as little as $1, uh, but it does need to be a scenario where you're, t you're, you're bringing in more income uh, than you're spending on a monthly basis. Um, now, if you look at that situation, uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna change this back here just so um, we've got this kind of in its original form. I think this was seven. Uh, I think it was seven hundred dollars maybe a month. Yes, they were at three twenty-five. Okay, so <clears throat> if you're looking at your budget and you've you've scrubbed your numbers and you've put everything in here and you're still at a negative point and you you're telling yourself that you know Nathan, there's there's literally nothing I can do. I don't have enough time in the day to, you know, take care of my kids and work my job and, uh, you know, do everything I do in my life. I, I just, 
can't do anything possibly to, to increase uh, my income. I don't have time for that. I would say to that, I would say, you know, look, we, we all have the same 24 hours in a day. Every one of us, you have the same 24 hours in your day as I have in my day as, you know, Mark Zuckerberg and Jeff Bezos have in their days. Um, it's all a matter of how we choose to spend that time that makes the difference. So um, ultimately, it's about priorities. So if you know, if you find yourself in a situation where this is a negative number, this monthly free cash flow is negative, and eliminating your debts and putting yourself in a favorable, you know, financial position, long-term financial position is important to you, then I would say you know you need to make this a priority. So you need to to uh, you know eliminate other things in your life to move this ahead in the stack um, if you really want to accomplish this. So just keep that in mind. Um, you know, there's always things you can do to change your schedule. Um, you know, I find that a lot of people ultimately end up, you know, on average watching a lot of TV and, and doing things that, you know, they could be, um, you know, perhaps utilizing that time to be a little more productive and, and earning more income. On the other side of the equation, again, um, if you must resort to cutting expenses, sometimes that's the only other solution. Um, you know, comb through your expenses and you can typically find things that you can cut out. So if I'm looking at, at this example, um, you know, maybe we don't need as fast of internet uh, and we can, we can reduce that by 50 bucks a month or, you know, maybe we don't need the unlimited data plan for our phone service and we can reduce that by 50 bucks a month. Um, Maybe we can make changes to our, our grocery selections to save, you know, another 50 or hundred dollars a month. Um, so you can go through line by line and there's typically things you can do without forcing, you know, major lifestyle changes to, you know, discover an extra, you know, couple hundred bucks a month. Um, you know, I, I hate to say put your fitness on a back burner, but, but maybe that means dropping your gym membership. Um, <clears throat> Maybe it means, you know, cutting back on your entertainment expenses. Again, we don't really want you to have to sacrifice lifestyle. That's part of, of this program. But if you absolutely cannot do anything to increase your income and you still have a, a negative uh, free cash flow number in your budget, then you have no choice but to try and cut a few expenses. So comb through that, figure out where you can, where you can save some money uh, because ultimately you do need to have more money coming in then is going out to make this process work. And uh, in one of the next few videos, we'll get into uh, another area we can look at to capture what I call inefficient dollars uh, to help boost this number even higher. So I uh, hope you found that informative and we'll see you in the next video.